ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 8-Bit Armies. Today, we're going to be kicking things off in this wonderful little real-time strategy game from uh, Petroglyph, the guys that made Star Wars Empire at War. Last year, they released Grey Goo, or they made Grey Goo. I don't know if they released it. I don't know if they actually published it. I don't know. I picked this up on Steam because it caught my eye. It looked kind of cool, and I haven't played an RTS in a long time, and I know this isn't something for everyone. I know... Not everybody is going to be interested in watching an RTS on the channel, so we're going to play this for a while. I don't know that we're necessarily going to finish the full game. It's like eight hours long, so we'll see how that goes. I have played a couple of missions. I've played the tutorial, I've played this mission, and this mission. We're currently on this one. What we'll do today to introduce everyone to the game is uh, we'll play these two missions here. Again, this one's very quick. This one takes about 15 to 20 minutes, so... We'll jump in with this one, which I've already mastered, so I'm going to do on hard mode for the heck of it. So let's begin, Green Man. I didn't read the text there. I do apologize. Basically, we're down to the wire. We have so few units left. We need to make something of ourselves. Let's begin. Fortunately, I don't actually need to uh, do all that much with this mission because I have these units in this vehicle, and I got these units and this vehicle and this building already in this building. Because when you complete a mission, you unlock certain things and you unlock certain parts of a, a default loadout. And in this case, uh, one of the loadouts I got was the barracks and the units. One of the, uh, the loadouts was the refinery. It's kind of cool. It's a nice little way of giving you a little bit of a head start in every mission. If you play every mission one after the other, you're going to be getting more and more units. And the cool thing is that Upon completing this game, that puts you in a position where you can effectively revisit uh, previous missions and have a great time playing them, or make the, the whole thing super easy because you have all of these different units. Anyway, today's objective is to destroy the enemy HQ. Don't train infantry units, which I haven't done because I've been picking up those mystery crates, and then to complete objectives A and B within five minutes. I can promise you that is not going to take very long at all. All of our units are here. Let's push forward a little bit. There's the enemy refinery truck. Let's open fire on that and see if we can kill it. Possibly, possibly not. Uh, it did get away. We can head up here, though. There may be a couple of enemy units. There is the refinery, of course. There's an enemy there, actually. Let's kill him. Let's actually blow up the barracks as well uh, to stop them from getting reinforcements. Blow up the refinery, blow up the truck, and then blow up their headquarters. And like I said, this mission does not take long at all. Quite easy to get full marks on that particular one. And of course, victory, a winner is me. I am, of course, a winner, apparently. And there you go. Objectives done. Took a minute and 39 seconds to get that mission out of the way. Let's go to the next one. Sky Thunder. Well done, sir. You've, we've secured more firepower for you, but the enemy is resupplied with rocket infantry. Our new vehicles will fall quickly to concentrated rocket fire. This time, we need you to remove the enemy from the area. You were victorious before. Let's see if you can do it again. I've done this mission on normal. I haven't done it on hard mode, and I'm going to try that today. Because it's going to be a little bit easier to do this mission on hard mode versus when I did it originally, because I didn't have the refinery from the beginning. So, the objectives are destroy all enemy structures, build only one refinery, and complete objectives A and B in five minutes. Now, I'm curious to know, by build only one refinery, and it's annoying that I placed that off-center, but it's fine, does that mean I should not place a second one? Because technically, technically, I've only built one. So we'll see. Let's head down this way and see if we can find more of those uh, those crates. I know some of them are a bite here. Now, we don't have enough electricity. We need another power plant, so let's get that in there. Ah, yeah, there's some crates there. We'll go and grab those immediately and see what we can do. We still have low power. That's fine. So we'll grab those crates. What do we get? Uh, more infantry. That's pretty good. Let's head up this way and see if we can find another crate. Uh, we don't seem to have one there. Okay. Let's head over into that bit of town and see what we can do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go straight ahead and build the motor pool so we can start getting more vehicles on the go. We're also going to want to, uh, are there any crates around there? It doesn't really look like it. We're also going to want to, at some point, go ahead and get another couple of barracks. Because as you stack buildings, 
the original becomes more effective. So if I get a second motor pool, that original one is going to be twice as effective as the, um, the one we have. And apparently, I just find a really cheeky way to build multiple buildings at once. If you're very quick with your buttons, you can actually get two buildings built at the same time. That's quite nice and quite useful. Uh, don't know what I got out of that. Interesting. Let's head up this way and see what we can do. So the second motor pool is done. The second barracks is done. Let's go to units and start queuing up some... Uh, I'm going to get rocket troopers. I'm going to go for 15 of them. And I'm going to get a bunch of those cars as well. So if you don't know, each of these costs resources. This one is $90. This one's $60 per unit. And up here is the resources. Resources are gained from your little fuel trucks. Uh, gathering oil, bringing it back to the refinery, and then you go from there. Now, we have another box just there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And while that's going on, I'm going to pop back here, and I'm going to build myself, I think... I can't actually get another motor pool. That's Oh, I can't. We'll get another motor pool. All right, what do we get here? I think it was another set of infantry units. That's pretty good. Those two are stuck. That's interesting. That happened when I played this mission the first time as well, so that's a bit annoying. Uh, from there, we actually got more of those armored cars, which is super great. Let's head down into that bit of town there. Uh, we do have these guys here, so I'm going to send them that way. I'm going to set the rally point for that motor pool to be there as well. And the rally point for that, uh, the barracks, to be down there. Okay. I think what I'm also going to do is... Maybe just... Maybe grab a third refinery. No, I don't think we need one. We're probably okay. Uh, we'll let those vehicles do their thing. There are actually enemy forces moving that way, which is a bit alarming. But that shouldn't be anything we can't deal with. What I'll actually do is I am going to go from here, and I'm going to head down this way a little bit. So we should be okay. Uh, have we got all of my... We've got one more of those vehicles coming out. There we go. So we'll grab all of you. I'm gonna move you to there for a second. I'm gonna grab all of you and go and grab those boxes. So we'll grab that one. We'll grab that one. We got some rocket troopers. That's exactly what we needed for this crowd. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head this way. And we're gonna take out that turret. Enemy turret. We're gonna destroy it. We have the rocket troopers. We can do it no problem. There we go. Turret done. That's excellent. Take out the refinery truck. We are gonna limit their supplies and uh, make this incredibly difficult for the enemy to... Uh, Really regroup after this. Take out that trooper. Let's see if we can actually do this. We have 50, 59... Oh, we have to destroy all the buildings, though. Yeah, there's no way we're doing this in uh, in the allocated time. That's unfortunate. But it's fine. Let's see if we can take out the refinery. We do have this turret firing on us, but that's fine. Can we take out the turret as well? You know what? If we can keep these guys alive, we might actually do this. All right, take out the re new refinery. Take out the barracks. Let's get a bunch of fire on it. There we go. Take out the new barracks, or the, not the new barracks, the old, that other barracks. Take out the new refinery as well. Alright, come on, take out that. Beautiful. Take out the power plants. If we can take these out quick enough, we might actually disable the turrets. Um, we did not. That's unfortunate. Alright, take out that one as well. Then we will probably, definitely, disable the turrets with this one. There we go. Alright, take this out. Yeah, we're not doing this in five minutes, unfortunately. That's going to be something that's a little bit more difficult to do. Uh, but that's fine. I'm I'm okay with what we've got going on here. As for all of you, we're going to just grab you and move you to uh, the base as well. You guys can all go and uh, do your thing. We are actually... We, we're going to need some reinforcements. We, we definitely need some reinforcements in here. Because these guys are... They're healing their base of operations, their headquarters there. We have all of our units moving out this way nicely. They do actually have a turret there. That's alarming. Can we take that turret out? Possibly. It is doing a lot of damage, but I think we might just have enough to uh, to beat the turret before the turret beats us. That's good. Let's move in. We did lose a lot of units, but that's okay. As for you guys, is anything shooting you? I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, that guy is. Oh, they have another barracks up. Okay, well, select all of you. And go ahead and take out that barracks. All right, beautiful. Uh, my units are there. We'll move them in. And we'll see what we can do. Now, if they get another power plant online, if they get a second one, they will absolutely wreck me. 
I wonder if I can take that out. That'd be kind of nice. They really, I mean, I'm not okay with them having a refinery. It's, it's kind of that simple. Let's take out the pyre so they can't really do much. Uh, we'll select all of my units and focus fire on the pyro plant. There we go. Focus fire on the barracks. Get rid of that. Uh, focus fire on the base of operations. So we can completely get rid of that. Beautiful. Take out the new barracks. Take out the turret there. That's, uh, that's going pretty, pretty bloody quickly. Uh, take out that refinery. Which he's trying to heal, apparently. Okay, that's brave. And that final building, and it should be... There we go. Mission accomplished. I realize I said that that second mission takes about 15 minutes. I got that confused. It's the third mission that takes about 15 minutes, and the third mission's the one I haven't actually done. So... This is gonna be fun. This, this is gonna be interesting. This mission involves... Defending for 15 minutes, and the bonus objectives are destroy enemy HQ and destroy enemy HQ in 10 minutes. That's tricky. That's that's very tricky to do. But I'm going to take hard mode. In fact, I can do this on normal. If I want to, I can do this on normal. I'll get the same three objectives. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try Steel Crush on normal. We've been pushed back a little bit. We've taken this base, but now we have to push out and take the enemy base. So what we need to do right off the bat is we do have some units. What do I want? Uh, probably another refinery right away, which I'm going to just chuck right over there. Uh, so that's fine. All of these units, I'm going to head out into uh, the world a little bit. I'm actually going to sort of gather them over there. We do have turrets in the world, which is nice. We can actually get more of those as well if we really want to. Um, which I think I do want to. I'm going to just put a turret there. And uh, hope for the best. Going to try and get multiple turrets at some point. So we can uh, nicely defend ourselves, of course. All right, second refinery is up. That'll make resource gathering a little bit more efficient. Second turret is up, which is excellent news. I would like another turret done here as well. So we can get a few of those. It would be nice to build multiple things at once. I, I'm not a big fan of that. Now they have, ah yes, they have tanks on this mission. These turrets should be able to take that tank out without too much trouble. Uh, let's move you guys back a little bit. I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna gather my forces here into the biggest army I can, I can put together. And uh, we'll go from there. Now we do need the, mo we need a motor pool. And I also want another barracks. I'm going to build both of those at the same time using that little trick I found. Uh, because I really... Oh. That's a bit troubling. Uh, these guys should be okay. These guys are alright. I'm going to spend some money to repair you. Alright. Uh, is that a tank? That is not a tank. Okay. Motor pool is complete. Second barracks is complete. Uh, we are going to want another motor pool. We are also going to want a another power plant. So... Motor pool power. Ah, oh, didn't get the blood. I didn't get it to double up. That's unfortunate. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start getting a whole bunch of these troopers here, the rocket infantry, because really regular infantry is not going to be that useful. We have this armored car, which is great against infantry anyway. So we'd need rocket troopers, and we need boots in the ground. So let's go for. That's going to be 26, 7, 8, 9, 30. So that's going to be 30 rocket troopers. It's going to be expensive to do, but it's okay. Uh, what I'll also do is get another refinery, possibly. It might be worth getting a pyro plant first. Can I get both at the same time? If I do that, yeah, I can. I can be a little bit cheeky. That's fine. Uh, we'll chuck another refinery just here. All right, so everything seems to be going okay. We have this pyro plant almost up. We have this refinery almost up. We do have just over seven minutes to take out the enemy base. I can promise you that's going to be difficult. That is that is going to be a tricky one. Uh, what have we got? We've got a tank attacking down here. Can I repair this? I can indeed. Uh, that's fine. They're probably going to take out the tank without too much trouble. Which is nice. That's, that's very nice. Um, let me attempt... Oh, that's going to be a bit tricky though. Let's see. I do want to put another turret down here. Machine gun 
I think that could be a good idea. Although if I place it now, that little guy there is going to try and destroy it as it's building. So let's place it just as he dies. There we go. Okay, how are we looking here? Pretty good. We have a fair few soldiers. We are absolutely going to want to get more. Uh, and I think I want to get two, no, uh, another set of uh, two refinery trucks. They may not be all that useful right now. Because I'm pretty sure all of my refinery trucks are going to this same place. So a whole bunch of refinery trucks, they're just going to get backed up and slow things down a little bit. Uh, well, not slow things down, but they'll, they'll be slow. Like, they're just going to sit and wait. But as soon as one refinery truck comes out, another one comes in. So we are getting a reasonable supply of... Uh, of things there. This is going to be tricky. That's going to that's gonna hurt my turrets. Uh, let's see. So I want to get some of those armored cars. Right. Uh, I want them to gather just there. So I want ten of them. So we'll get ten of those. And we're going to hope for the best. That's really all we can do. I also reckon it may be worth getting another one of these guys and another... I didn't get the little trick to place two of them. That's unfortunate. Uh, what have we got? We've got a tank fighting those turrets. That's fine. That tank doesn't really stand a chance. Uh, this turret needs repaired. So we'll get that done. That tank is almost dead, which is good news. How's everything going down here? Pretty good. That's now three times as fast as it once was. I reckon I want a another barracks, possibly. Actually, no, I'm going to get another motor pool so I can make things just even faster down there. That seems like an excellent idea. Um, we could actually get another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those, which would be super useful. I'll also get uh, a whole bunch of these little guys here. We'll go for 20 more of them. And we real like, all I'm going to do here, win or lose, I'm going to send all of my units pretty much at the same time towards the enemy base. These vehicles will take out infantry. These guys will take out tanks and turrets. So that's the plan. Whether or not that works, we will see. It may be worth getting some infantry troopers, though. I've just It's just hit me. These are vulnerable to... The, these vehicles are vulnerable to rocket troopers. Rocket troopers are vulnerable to regular infantry and these vehicles. Regular infantry isn't really phased by rocket troopers all that much. So having a mix of all three things is probably an, an excellent idea. So let me just go ahead and get another barracks there to make things twice as fast. Uh, so all those vehicles there are doing pretty good. It might be worth getting a bunch more of them. Machine gun turret under attack. Let's get 10 more. What are we looking at? What's the problem? Another tank. Uh, I want to repair you. And I want to repair you. There we go. That's going to be a little bit costly, but it's fine. Uh, so that barracks is complete. This is working three times as fast as it was. These vehicles are coming out nice and quickly as well. Oh, that's a bit of a force. Should be fine, though. There shouldn't be anything those turrets can't deal with. Uh, so we are very close to having a force that we can send out to attack. Just got to get these troopers on the ground. Uh, in fact, it may be worth just speeding them up a little bit more. Even though we are about to, you know, have all of them on the field, uh, I think speeding them up just a little bit could be a nice thing. Although I'm realizing we've completely drained this resource node, and now my trucks are having to go that way to get resources. That's a problem, because that's going to take some time. So, what may be worth doing is selling those refineries... If I sell that one as well, we can sell both of those. We can build a new refinery. And now the barracks is up. That's fine. Another refinery is going to give us another truck, but it is another refinery that these guys can go to from, uh, from the get-go. Let's select all of our units. We have just over two minutes to do this. We're going to make the push and see if we can take out the enemy base. I, I'm not convinced that we're going to do it. But I am willing to try. So let's move in and attack that. That's one hell of a force of, uh, of armored cars there. Doing a pretty bloody good job. Uh, let's get to the bridge and see what we can do. If they have a tank, I'm going to want to fall back. Because right now, I need something that can take on a tank. 
I have a turret. That thing will possibly tear me to shreds? I don't know. No, that thing's not doing all that much damage. That's fine. All right. My troops are there. I want everyone to move forward, though. We don't have a lot of time to, uh, to play with here. So we really just need to make a solid push on that enemy base. Micromanagement in this. I, I don't even know if micromanagement is something you can really do in this game. I find it's 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 a difficult one. Because I want to sort of micromanage my group, my, my squads and get different groups of people and all that stuff. But I just don't know if you can do it. Alright, they're all dead. That was a good push. Let's push this way. There are turrets on this side. I know there are. So we want to take that turret out. As quick as we possibly can. Uh... I want to move into that field with my infantry units so I can get those boxes because that gets me more troopers. Select everyone. Take that out as quick as I can. Take out the tank, actually. That's bloody dangerous. Uh, take out that pyro plant. Come on, there we go. All right, take out these guys. Take out the turrets. Come on, take out the turrets. Take out that turret. All right, let's make a push. We got this. This is, this is going pretty well. Take out that guy. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take out the turrets. Just focus fire on the turrets. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take out the turret. All right, good. And again. And again. You know what? To hell with it. We're going in. We're going in. Take out the take out the HQ. Just focus fire on that HQ. The objective is to destroy it, not to destroy everything. Just take out the HQ. That's got a kind. Player. That counted. <laughs> oh, my God. That rush actually counted. I got victory for that. That's amazing. Oh, wow. I'm... <laughs> I'm kind of blown away by that. That was amazing. That was surprisingly easy. Okay, so next mission is called Flat Tire. We have an opportunity, Commander. We've located several enemy motor pools that contain retooling schematics for tanks. We can get our hands on these. We can re retool our own factories to build tanks as well. There's no need to destroy everything. Concentrate on the motor pools. So if I complete this objective, I will unlock tanks and always spawn with two tanks. If I complete it on, if I complete this objective and don't train infantry units, I will always spawn with five infantry units. And if I complete both of those in 10 minutes, I will always spawn with a motor pool. I'm kind of okay with that, and I like the idea. I guess we should get on with Operation Flat Tire.